Hey guys, everything you see on the garage floor here I picked up today. I'll go through it real quick. It's all kind of new to me. I haven't really looked at it too close. So bear with me. So we got a, three of these uh, hanging lights. I kind of like these, actually. Uh, this one is Kraus Heinz, I believe. Cross Heinz LPH 24. So, yeah, so three lights. Got a set of uh, old school, new old stock uh, H4651 automotive headlights. Pair of them. Got a old Stanley Square. Uh, a couple of uh, pipe wrench deal, or not pipe wrench, but a uh, Lug wrench type deals. A uh, bunch of levels here. Uh, which, what do we got here? Flip this around. Stanley 104. Okay. So it's got the one, uh, the one vial. Uh, it's a Craftsman. Oh, various aluminum. 24 inch levels, nothing big. Uh, this is uh, Ram Tools and it's a power drill. It's got an old uh, Jacobs Multi Craft. And I don't think this is reversible. Anyways, I'm going to clean that up. <clears throat> it does run. Got a crappy. Uh, Air sander with manual, Ampro, and some uh, brass fittings, air fittings. Uh, this looks like an air blower. Got this little pile of junk there. Uh, test light. Three miter saws. One of them, the yellow one, is the uh, you know the standard cheap one you find. If Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever, and uh, the two wooden ones are older. Uh, they're name brand. I haven't looked at any of this stuff too in depth, but I know that the wooden ones are name brand. Uh, most of the tools are made in USA and are decent quality. So we got a couple wood saws, uh, a couple. Uh, I don't know if those are. I, I've always used these for branches and whatnot, but a couple of those. Got a massive saw collection right now. Not that I am collecting them. I just happen to, uh, you know, there's there's always saws in these lots that I get. So, got a box of random um, extension cords and whatnot. <clears throat> got a nice thicker gauge uh, cord here. That this will be a power cord for something. Not sure what. Another. Uh, Good condition cord that'll be a power cord. This uh, one into three extension cord. Uh, this crappy uh, made in China, but it's like a little tower. One into three. All right. This is a Stanley. Stanley Surform. Uh, crappy C clamp. Looks homemade. This is decent. I don't know what brand it is offhand. If I had to guess, I'd say Stanley. Uh, but I'll, anything that's beat up, I'm going to clean it up. You know, I'm going to go through with a wire wheel when I get time. and So I'll, I'll clean that up. Got an ox wall square. Couple of uh, tape measures. Crappy ones. Crappy scissors. Uh, <laughs> look at this. Just look at this. I got a whole wall of these scissors, these shears. Can you imagine calling that done? I get it. You know, you lost the uh, the hardware. And these usually have a special bolt with a square locking uh, just under the head there. So this guy just threw a Phillips in there with a washer. And it's, uh, it's only about an inch and a half too long. And he said, yep. Looks good to me and left it at that. 
uh, it's, to me, it, it, I don't understand. I don't understand that. Um, anyways, so I'll, I'll take care of that. Uh, fix those up. Got a, another one of these jacks. I have, if not the same one, one very similar that I redid and painted red. A pair of uh, jack stands, which are always helpful. Uh, move them right along. This uh, drill index case. Minus the, the drills, but uh, the case itself will be used for sure. Nice metal case. Got your sizes right there on it. So, it's a nice case anyway. Uh, more saws. That's a Master Mechanic USA. Uh, let's see if I can... This one might be too rusted out to tell, but... Most of these are brand name. Got yeah, here. See if I can get this to focus on that. Distant. But yeah, very sauce. Uh, the original inbox clapper. This is a sealed manufactured in China. Clapper, the original clapper, clap on, clap off, sealed copy. Um, Westinghouse two outlet mechanical timer. Okay, so this next bin is plumbing supplies. So there is a bin of plumbing supplies, and you name it, it's in here. I'm not going to go through every single piece, but I mean, that's just uh, there's it. A lot of stuff, uh, a lot of Ace stuff, new in the package, six strainer and washers, uh, got a brand new faucet here in the box, pretty decent. Then we got this, and this is uh, in excellent condition, and it's heavy, this is a few pounds in my hand. Um, and I'm going to try and maybe see if I can clean this up and repurpose it, reuse it, not repurpose, but uh use it in the house it's uh obviously older and uh that might be actual porcelain but really nice chrome and it's in great shape so that was in there um various snakes there's a bunch of plumbing snakes uh three or four of them a bag of uh pipe joint compound uh, plumber's putty Couple cans of uh, purple primer and then a few cans of cement. Bunch of rolls of uh, tape, various components, various components. Three tanks, I don't know the status of them, but uh, they're older. I don't think I'm gonna try and use them. Pardon me, I'm gonna shift around here. So, uh, Yep, just a ton of um, plumbing parts, you know, and good stuff. If I need a part, I have it. It's just tons of stuff, just a whole bin of parts. So all that's all the plumbing. Uh, there was also, in with the plumbing, rolls of solder and flux, and... To my delight, more of these. So I got about 15 of these now, <clears throat> and I like this one here. Uh, the push button. These are pricey in the store, so that's why I don't have one. All my uh, igniters are this style here. This is a Craftsman. Uh, you know, so we got four igniters. Uh, I have several tanks up there that I'll use those with but we got the solder uh, also with the plumbing we got the pile of uh, copper and then a pile of brass now I collect uh, copper mainly but I happen to have a ton of brass as well so I collect that and when I get a few hundred dollars worth I'll just uh, pack it up and bring it down to the recyclable center uh, 
and cash in on the copper. So quite a bit of copper is a yeah, maybe four or five pounds there. Maybe not, maybe three or four. I, I don't know. Can't see offhand, but a fair a fair amount. Okay, so next we have a, a bin in a box of electrical products. Um, so a lot of boxes. This is all just boxes and whatnot. There's a lot of uh, cable staples boxes. Um, but uh, this here is amazing. Uh, there's just uh, bags of switches, um, bags of outlets. There's bags of outlet covers and switch covers. Uh, just really a, a ton of a ton of supplies. And you know, I, I worked as an electrician for a while, and I know what this stuff costs. So. Uh, It'll be helpful to have it on hand if I need it, and a lot of it, a lot of the stuff is new in the box. Um, let's try to, that, uh, where is it? Yeah, I got the box here. Let me show you that. But a lot of switches. There's a GFCI. Is a 30 amp uh, dryer outlet. So, switches and outlets, brand new. Um, just a ton of stuff. I mean, it's all... A lot of it is like new. A lot of it is new. And a lot of it's used. But uh, there, there's a ton of it. And... Uh, got uh, fuses. Plug fuses. Um, two bags of uh, wire nuts. So, uh, just incredible. So, a lot of electrical stuff. So, I gotta put this with my other supplies. I, you know, I, I, I collect stuff as I get it, and I have a whole section of electrical, a whole section of plumbing, and I, I'm gonna consolidate it, put it all together, and kind of sort this out. You know, if I need an, an outlet, I have it. If I need a plumbing, uh, piece I have it. I hate to go to Lowe's or Home Depot and have to buy something. But uh, we're going to move right along. A lot of stuff to go over here. This uh, little bucket has uh, clearance. Ah, mosquito just got me. Clearance lights. There's a whole, a whole whack of them in there. Okay. We got a uh, bunch of fuses. Bunch of pipe clamps. Uh, this here is a Dynex, and it's a 400 watt power supply. And I have no idea what the hell you would use this with. But I'll, fi I'll find out, that's for sure. It's got a little weight to it. Figure out if it's something maybe I can use just the fan that, uh, with. God, this. Mosquitoes out here are crazy. I'm getting eaten. Okay. Anyway, sliding right along. Got a little thing of string and whatnot. Some uh, cable pieces that are basically just junk. A whole pile of uh, caulk guns and a whole pile of caulk. That's some kind of siphon pump deal? Hand deal? I'm not sure. The guy was talking about it. I forget... What exactly he was talking about, but uh, it's it's basically junk, I can tell. So, moving right along, got a couple of chains and some hooks, pulleys. Got uh, quite a few older uh, plier, various pliers, and these will all be cleaned up for sure. And there's some decent little pieces here in the mix. Uh, excellent candidates. <sighs> This is a Crowder, I believe, the giant nipper. Crowder. It's got the nice uh, knurling with design there. So, I believe this is a smaller channel lock, but you can see there, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of old pliers. 
and I'll clean all those up and throw them with a stash. I got a nice little arsenal of older pliers that I've been collecting. Uh, ay, sheesh. All right, let me regroup here. So this is all what's on the floor is all what I got today. So we got some of the uh, adjustable pipe style wrenches. We got some hammers. This one's kind of cool looking. I don't approve of the mounting procedure for the handle and I'll make sure I fix that but look at this it's just a hunk of it's like a toy but uh usual suspects hammers probably some Stanley in there got a couple mallets um, wire wheel accessories a couple of box cutter utility knives Three of them anyways. Uh, two Stanley USA's. Random bucket of sockets. A lot of Craftsman and SK Wayne in there. Uh, ball mounts. Various sizes. Bucket of random wrenches. Uh, yeah. Got this set. These are... Uh, Imperial. Gold Imperial, a set of four older little craftsman bits, pipe cutter, uh, compression tester, uh, tap wrench, various chisels, peg still. Um, so yeah, screwdrivers, files. Uh, Whole pile of uh, spreaders and whatnot, wire brushes, uh, chisels. Man, these mosquitoes have just completely taken me out of my. Got some nippers, screwdrivers galore, a ton of Stanley, uh, some painting tape. Let's see. This is a snap-on, this little mini flathead. But uh, a lot of, mostly USA made um, tools here, and the hand tools, a lot of older pieces. This is an old Ford wrench. Old curved Williams. You know, so there's some, wow, these bugs are driving me nuts. So, then we got some products. Um, Marvel Mystery Oil, Brake Fluid, Lucas, ah, bunch of cans of starting fluid, uh, AutoZone degreaser, various products. We got a work light with brand new spare bulb, and we have this old. Um, that's like a bread bat, bread box. Ah, it's got the compartment in the bottom, and then these are sliding drawers. So I'm gonna clean that up and actually use that out here in the garage. Uh, so, we got the spreaders, like I said. Got this mixing tray. But uh, just a ton of stuff. I just just wanted to show you real quick so I can get sorted out and put away. But uh, I paid 50 for everything. 50 bucks. Which is uh, fair, fair enough. So, got to be a few bucks of copper over there by itself so I'm definitely going to bring that back to offset the uh, cost of the of the pieces here so I'd rather spend my my money on stuff like this because it's useful stuff you know older stuff so 50 bucks pretty much got the whole garage floor filled um, like I said, all the hand tools, mostly all of them anyways, are made in USA. Uh, and we have stuff from over the years here. So, if anything exciting happens between now and then, I'll uh, be sure to do another video and show you what's going on. But for now, I'm just going to organize, consolidate all my electrical supplies and all my plumbing supplies and the wiring and tools and jack stands and everything else get everything kind of sorted away but 
Man, I'm really packing this stuff in here. Gonna run out of space. I got uh, let's cut the light on. Yeah, we're uh, we're loaded up in here right now. I got some, I got some sorting out to do still, but you can see we're we're loaded up. So. Loaded right to the gills. But that's it. I got work to do. Appreciate you guys as always. Take care. Have a great night.